You cited how AI is used by marketing, finance, et cetera, areas of an organization. Who exactly in the organization is initiating these changes? Is it at times a CMO? Is it at times a CFO? I think it's uh, the question goes to, you know, the, the origin story of, of AI as it enters an organization. What's your sense of uh, who should be leading that and how does it normally sort of flow? Yeah, I go ahead, Lisa. I mean, look, some companies have AI steering committees that are you know, kind of looking at it from its entirety, but, you know, within each function, um, you know, AI is being utilized. And so it is, um, it's within the function that there are the experts um, within what's required for, for their, you know, under their purview, because there's different applications in all of it, but there's, there, there's also kind of tied up with a overall, you know, corporate um, kind of governance strategy and, um, you know, but also, you know, from a financial package as well. I um I also work with a, a number of um of kind of smaller organizations, uh, hundred to four hundred million, and um, that it's interesting. We just did a search for a director of uh, of business intelligence and rolling up to the CTO. But when we did the search, what I found fascinating was so many of the business intelligence experts, some reported to finance, some reported to marketing, some reported to I, you know, the CIO. So there, I think that it's a work in progress trying to kind of figure out how to, to triangulate all of those things because uh, BI is at the business intelligence is at the center of, of everything. And um, in those cases, at least with the smaller organizations, AI is driven underneath that BI director. Yeah, and it's a great point. The other thing I'd add is, you know, what we see is, the most successful companies as they drive this forward, it is driven from the top. It's driven from the CEO, yeah. particularly because there's a significant and it's and it's addressed somewhat in this slide here. The change management aspect of this is big. You know, everyone can mm -hmm. talk innovation, but when it comes to affecting budgets and affecting, you know, organization structures and affecting day to day work um you know throughout the organization you need that continuous change management aspect of it to bring people along and if you don't have that top buy-in it's difficult to sustain that within the culture right i mean and and it's you know it, it it's kind of it, it's always a balancing act because while um you know there's great ai use, uses as it relates to cybersecurity and protection and detection um there's you know, a significant amount of exposure to that needs to be managed as you're implementing, you know, AI product, uh, AI um, within the various segments of the organization. And it's not just, um, um, you know, the, 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 the potential cyber attacks too, but it's also protecting your data because if something is, you know, you, you're on chat GPT, it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's out there. And, and so, it's you know what's being recorded, all of those things that you have to understand um, what the protections are. And while many of the senior leaders may or may know that, it's important that the 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 workforce is educated on the possibilities of um, good things and bad things and how to effectively navigate them. So. And keep up with it. It's changing so fast. How to keep the entire organization educated about that process right. yeah it's, yeah it, it, it's, yeah. it's challenging yeah and with that and i think it goes to um this distinction between and the split between the chief data office and the chief technology office within the good and the bad is it used to be data governance is very heavily focused on you know single source data quality and those types of things um but the responsible use and the and the appropriate access and, and um, you know, who should have access to what data, who shouldn't, um, when should they have access? Uh, all of those things are becoming much more significant in terms of data governance and IT governance in general, that um, it really requires a deeper skill and deeper understanding of the industry trends and some of the opportunities, but also some of the unintended consequences of those opportunities. So.